Thanks for staying on. Now, one month after some 1,000 residents of Nasia were displaced by a rainstorm, they are yet to receive any form of assistance from the National Disaster Management Organization. The displaced persons are still living with friends and relatives in neighboring communities. Member of Parliament for Walewale, Wale, Dr. Sugri Bambangi, has in the interim presented 25 packets of roofing sheets to the chief of the community for onward distribution to the victims. I would want to use this opportunity to appeal to all stakeholders in development to focus their attention on Nasia for now because the people are living in misery. Some of them do not have places to lay their heads and some of them have had their foodstuffs destroyed by the disaster. I want to appeal to everybody in this community to eschew extreme partisanship and let us focus on development. This support is for the whole community and not to any particular group. It is for the whole community and the community should be able to identify those who are worst affected and find out how they can support them to be able to you know, live a much decent life. Well, uh, that was the Member of Parliament for the area there. Now, a political science lecturer at the University of Ghana, Dr. Evans Agridako, has rubbished calls for the chairman of the opposition New Patriotic Party and the general secretary to be suspended. The calls come on the heels of the death of the party's Upper East Regional Chairman, who some believe was murdered. There have been calls that Mr. Paul Afoko and Kobne Japon step aside until the police is through with investigations into the incident. But Dr. Agudako says the party leadership should rather focus on ridding the party of factionalism, suspicion and mistrust. I, I don't see how a change of leadership, for instance, at this crucial moment can help the cause of the party. What they can do is the unity of purpose. The leaders themselves must be committed to the unity of the party, bring all the factions together. And sometimes you see even football coaches, they may not like a particular player, but he is a finisher, a cracker finisher. So what do you do? You use him, you understand, to achieve your results. And then you understand. So personal issues and all those things must be relegated to the background. And you see, when you when you go into some of these parochial interests, it doesn't present you as a group of people who are interested in governance. I'm not going to entrust my destiny into the hands of a group of people who themselves cannot even put them house, house, their house in order. It is critical that they shape their own destinies. And the leadership must be interested. And for all the rank, the rank and file, the former president, the flag bearers, and all those who matter, must present themselves as and behave as independent empires. You understand, independent and imp impartial empires. And then you can then wield that moral authority to call people to order. But as I said, I'll go back to my earlier point that there's too much suspicion and mistrust within the party, and that is what is creating the problem. Thank you.